uh, welcome to this video which is going to be all about medicine bags or medicine pouches. This video I really wanted to do because I love making medicine bags, I love finding bits and bobs to put in them, I love revamping them, I li really love working with the energies of my totems and anything that I'm, only trees or deities that I'm connecting with at a certain time and finding things that are going to connect me with those energies and take them out with me whether I'm day to day just normal life the normal life in Glastonbury isn't very normal to be fair or whether it be to do a ceremony to go to a drumming circle to go up the tour or to um, maybe leave by my bed when I'm going to be wanting some healing dreams or to be looked after so I've been uh, doing medicine pouches as part of my Totems Awakening course, which just finished. So I was really inspired, re-inspired really, to look at medicine pouches and medicine bags again. And I'm going to create a little video to share with you guys, just in case you're wondering what a medicine bag is, how to use it, what you'd put in it, what you wouldn't put in it, and different things you could even call your medicine bag, your medicine pouch. So firstly, what is a medicine bag? Well. A medicine bag is something that will be holding the essence of your guides, your power, your energy. It is a sacred tool, a sacred object, which will carry objects of real significance for you. So that when you hold them, when you feel their presence, you are connected to your team of guides, you're feeling empowered, you're maybe reiterating uh, some healing work that you're doing there could be runes in there there could be uh, oem in there there could be uh, an affirmation in there but mostly there are objects that will link you to something you're connecting to something you want to connect to and the guides that surround you it's your medicine and medicine doesn't mean taking a, a pill or swallowing some uh, some medicine Medicine's different in this sense. It's more of an essence. It's more of the essence, the positive essence of your guides or your favorite crystal or um, maybe the essence of an animal that you're really connected to. And you take these things and you put them in one space and they create a real power spot, a real healing power bag for you. So that wherever you go, you're connected to that strength and empowerment. And you remember who you are, remember the energies that are with you and you have that direct link to that protection and to that uh, sacred connection that you have. Medicine doesn't have to be used in this term, like medicine pouch is what these bags are traditionally known as, but you don't have to call them that if that doesn't resonate with you. It's my belief that over, over the globe different cultures, different tribes would all have had something similar that you know, every shaman or medicine woman or person really connected to their deities and their totems would have had either a small or a large bag or pouch of objects that connect them to their clan, their tribe, their totems, their healing. And uh, so you could call this bag your totem bag, you'd call it your healing bag, your healing pouch, your witch bag, whatever it is. Um, it could be something really specific to you that you feel actually this is the name I resonate with. If medicine doesn't work for you and it isn't something that you feel that you connect with, then don't use it. Use something that's going to be strong for you. For the ease of the video, I'm calling this a medicine bag, a medicine pouch. And um, I will be looking at what you can put in those medicine bags and medicine pouches. So there are two types of medicine bags. There's the personal medicine bag, which we're looking at here, the smaller, more portable uh, medicine bag that you may wear about your being when you're out and about and doing your daily awesome, or you may place them by your bed for healing and protection and this presence of your guides while you're sleeping. And then there is the more ceremonial medicine bag, the bag that contains the tools of your trade. So if you're a healer, a shaman, a witch, um, you know, anyone that's doing the work, then when you're out and about, whether you're traveling or on your way to work, you may be required to hold ceremony, to do something that is going to ask you to create a sacred space. And so having, instead of just grabbing objects from the nearest wherever, which might not always be possible, having fully charged sacred objects ready with you is absolutely amazing. 
So this is a bigger bag. Uh, I know people that use rucksacks, that use sports kit bags for this. These bags don't have to be the traditional um, pretty and um, handmade bags. It's wonderful if they are, but they don't have to be. The important thing is that you do have your stuff with you when you're on the go. So find a bag that you're going to be, be comfortable to carry around because these things can get a little bit heavy. And find a bag that is uh, going to be, you know, right for you. That you feel connected. That you feel this is okay for me to, to have as my medicine bag. It may not be the bag of your dreams, but it, it could be the bag of your practicalities. And then think what you might want to have if you were doing a ceremony. If you were on the road, on the move, and you were called upon, or you just felt the need to... Uh, create sacred space to honor something to bless something or someone to do a healing work um, a ceremony of any kind and you may want things that represent the elements so you may want a candle for fire incense or a feather you may want um, a crystal or a stone or something that represents the earth you may want some spring water you may want some smudging tools to clear the air to some sage or uh, palo santo or uh, whatever it is that you work with to do some smudging you could just use some sprays as well you can have some i've got some really lovely uh, sort of sprays that just going to buy just spray ah that's nice and it just clears the air so that can be a really good thing to have with you it's because it's a very quick energy changer in a space and you have a little cloth for your altar for your portable altar something that represents your deities or your animal guides your totems but as um maybe herbs that you're working with crystals that you're working with you know you you know what you would like to connect with in a ceremony you know and, and it keep it simplify it but make sure the things you take are really powerful and are really going to uh, do their job so it can be really fun to create a medicine bag for being on the move so that wherever you are you're able to create that space and you're able to do something powerful and meaningful I watched a video about a woman in Alaska who um, had a medicine bag in her car, quite a big one, and uh, she said that every time she saw roadkill, she stopped her car and she got her medicine bag out and she did a ceremony for the, for the animal, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. And I felt a bit bad that I don't do the full-on physical ceremony every time I see roadkill, simply because driving around England is every few minutes if not more often, you see a dead fox, badger, deer, squirrel, hedgehog. It's absolutely awful. Um, and I wouldn't actually get anywhere if I had to stop every time. Um, but what I do do is um, every time I see a roadkill or a dead animal by the road, I do a little prayer. I visualise light around that animal and I visualise their ancestors, the spirit of their clan, their their tribe coming and taking their spirit to wherever their, their, their summer land is. So I just visualise that around every time I see the roadkill, um, which I think works okay, but it was obviously really lovely to, to hear someone that stops and does a full-on ceremony. So you may wish to do something like that, but you maybe wish to do a healing on someone, you may wish to be to do... Um, you may be travelling the world and want to be able to, to mark the full moon and the, the seasonal celebrations. Um, if you are a healer, then having those tools of your trade can be really special to be portable. So that's a really nice medicine bag. But I'm more looking today at the, the personal medicine bags and medicine pouches, the ones you can carry around with you, and the ones that contain the essence of your power, not necessarily for everybody that stuff that's just for you because the other medicine bag is for other people and for other situations as well as you and this is for you so this is really easy you can cre create and craft your own medicine bag so easily um, you can use a really durable material uh, leather suede false leather um, you could use normal material but I think it's nice to have something that's quite durable so that you can go out and about on your adventures and they're really simple to, to craft and to create or you can buy a little bag, like you can get little velvet bags and pouches from new age shops, so you don't have to make your own. But it takes about an hour max, two hours maximum, to make your own medicine bag really, in the simplest way. And uh, what you can put in those medicine bags are things that are of power for you. So the some traditional ways of choosing things for your medicine bag are finding things that are from the different kingdoms of the earth, so something from the plant kingdom, 
from the animal kingdom, from the mineral kingdom, and from the human kingdom. So from a, a plant kingdom, you may choose herbs that you really love or cleansing herbs or a herb that you're working with at a certain time, maybe a herb from your garden or a flower from your garden. Um, I think I've got roses and uh, rosemary, roses and rosemary in mine at the moment. And rose, rosemary is really good for cleansing and for clarity and for kind of lifting the mood and for alertness and roses for love and self-love and nurturing. Um, and from the animal kingdom, you could have ethically sourced things, absolutely only ethically sourced animal things, such as, um, always my headdress dramas, <laughs> always headdress wonkiness, um, you could have um, a claw, a tooth, again ethically sourced, fur from an animal, a feather, these things that are from a totem or an animal that's really, really important to you. Um, I'll show you, I have got some a badger tooth and badger fur here, but it's all ethically sourced and found. So nothing, no one was killed for this. I've got some fox fur as well that I found. Well, I I cleaned out a fox's enclosure, so that came. <laughs> some different crystals and things like that. So, you know, there's lots of different things that you can have in that are going to be powerful for you. Um, so, that, so something from the plant kingdom from the animal kingdom from the human kingdom you could have maybe a photo maybe a charm a coin something that you want it's going to help you really focus on something that you want to um, bring into your life and from the mineral kingdom yeah it can be a stone or something like that or a crystal other ways of doing that of, of gathering of finding a, a, a pattern for gathering things is to go by the elements earth air fire water spirit so again, from the earth, you could have a crystal or a stone or some actual earth from a sacred space from somewhere that you've been to that you are really connected to. Um, you could have for the for air, a feather. You could have, what else would be good for air? Some, I don't think it's even actually portable with air because it's quite funny with air, isn't it? It's very, you could have um, a yellow ribbon or something that reminds you of the lightness of air. You could have some words or something for air as well because about the mind and thoughts like that. For fire, uh, well, what well, could be good actually to have crystals for each of the elements? That does simplify things a little bit. You have an earth crystal, fire crystal, air crystal, water crystal and spirit crystal if you like so you could have a crystal that represents each of the elements for fire you could have a fiery crystal you could have um something that you have um an ashes for something you have the ashes for something um for water you can have a bit of spring water and then for spirit you could have a symbol or a crystal that connects you with the higher self so a photo or again or a picture or something that really does inspire you so you can you can choose i mean with this with the different elements you can actually put them in the different elements as well you can put your bag in the different elements being out in the air being in the water being in the sun and being in the earth you could actually consecrate your bag by the different elements uh, i like to have a, an elementally balanced bag if i do say so um i did realize i didn't have something very strong one element and i have re um it was water wasn't it actually yeah that's it i put a shell in for water i put a shell in for water you have bone for earth as well um because bone is, a, is something you put in uh so yeah i would like to have a fairly elementally balanced so i've got feathers on the bag as you can see these all i've sourced these feathers myself so no one was hurt or anything yeah and then you've got so yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to have fairly a good balance within the elements. I don't pick my objects because of the element, but I do like to go right if we've got something from all the elements here, just to keep that balance within 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 myself. And then you always have if you work with these objects in a sacred fashion, in a sacred way. If you work with these objects in a way where you um, connect with them regularly, you honour them, you honour the spirit of the animal or the crystal or um, the plant that you are working with so you may um, speak to that spirit to that plant to that animal spirit you you definitely thank it for being in your um, medicine pouch you give thanks to the spirit of the animal you, you maybe want to cleanse it regularly smudge it regularly and give it a lot of attention and give your guides and your uh, team a lot of attention um, I'm going to do another video about sort of 
really getting the structure in for being with your guides and giving them the time that they deserve that'll be another video because that's really something I'm passionate about as well um, but to have the objects it's just part of it it's that connection and that work and that time given to connecting with the essence and the energy of the objects and of um, the spirit that those objects represent to you so these I mean you could have things from your favorite places you could collect them from year over years different parts of your life you could go into a memory box and find things that are representing different parts of your life you could actually make a medicine bag that is for a specific purpose you may want to heal a certain situation and you're going to get uh, you're going to create a bag with objects in it that are all aimed for healing that situation the crystals that are going to empower you herbs that are going to inspire you maybe symbols a bind rune or something that's going to be really getting you going a totem that's going to be on your side with this um, or you may have a purpose like a dream medicine bag so you want to focus the medicine bag on sacred dreaming on remembering your dreams on having astral traveling dreams or uh, connections to your guides in your dreams so you could make a totem bag and then place it by your bed your totem bag may change of course over the days weeks and years and it really should it should kind of keep alive not get stagnant so just make sure you're connecting with it regularly working with it taking it out um, really feeling your connection with energies that are in the bag and maybe kind of thinking right this is done now this doesn't need to be in here anymore I can take it out or I can put something else in this is your medicine you may want to tie some charms of the animals that you connect with or something on the outside paint it it's yours do what's going to make you happy there are no strict rules about this the only rule is respect and honor and you know hold this as a sacred healing and power object because it holds so many lovely things that make your power stronger and your essence stronger and that really honors and reminds you of your divine connections so whatever you're into you could be into angels or fairies or animals or all of it um, make this pouch something that's going to be personal for you that really there's no point reading a sort of a checklist going okay I've got a crystal got a bit of animal fur that I've found on the floor got this got that put it in the bag and it's kind of methodical and you don't feel it there's just there's no point it's going to be your medicine your essence so it's really good to spend some time connecting with each animal that you're kind of working with here each crystal um, the wish that you're going to be wanting to manifest spend some time with each of these energies and uh, bring them in call in those energies into this bag and ask ask you know do a little consecration ceremony where you're really asking for help for guidance for wisdom for strength from your guides from your totems and that's that's represented by your medicine bag so this isn't so much a bag that's going to be that helpful for doing a ritual no matter where you are but what it is helpful for is keeping you in that sacred space and it does do the magic because it reminds you of your connections your guides your energies uh, it, it reminds you that you're strong that you have these totems these um, deities or flower um, guardians on your side and that you can work with them no matter what situation you're in so I hope you enjoyed this little, this little video about um, the medicine bag. If you have one that you work with and there's things that you put in your medicine bag that I haven't mentioned, please, please, please uh, uh, do comment in the box below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you are going to create a medicine bag and uh, you want to share anything, do let me know. I'm going to do a few more videos about these kind of things, about the sort of the tools that you can have around you that can really help bring in the magic in your everyday life but I definitely also want to do a video on um, really bringing the structure in so that you can keep those connections with your guys in your life um, but that will be coming that will be coming in another video thank you for watching I'm going to reshare my news my news my news that I uh, had in the last video that I got very excited about um, what's coming What's coming is an EP from me, so if you have a steady my music um, on YouTube or on my Facebook page, they're all kind of rough recordings and I've been recording um, in a little studio and uh, there's an EP of five songs called Between the Worlds coming out 
I think and I hope the aimed date of release of this is uh, summer solstice so around June 21st and so uh, keep in contact for that if you're interested in pre-ordering or um, buying a CD or downloading it I'd be obviously really over the moon but there'll be a video really shortly of samples of some of the songs so you're gonna get to hear a bit of it and a bit about the the EP as well yay <laughs> and uh, also courses There's gonna be a four-week dragon course over the summer if you're interested in dragon magic and want to learn more uh, there's gonna be more information about that coming soon and goddess awakening uh, one of my favorite courses that I have written and a really powerful course to connect you with your goddess energy within and without so goddesses from all over the globe we look at through looking at eight archetypes um, of the of, of femininity of the goddess so it's, a, it's a, a course that really works with connecting with the different aspects of the goddess but also awakening those aspects in ourselves as well so uh, I really love it course, it's a really powerful course and that's going to be starting end of July, beginning of August this year as well. So you can book on that now, that's all, uh, if you want to get involved, do uh, take advantage of the early bird booking, uh, you got to June the 10th to get the discount. And Goddess Awakening course is all on my website, all the W's, lauradaligan.com. Um, and I'll see you all really soon. Any requests for any videos, please let me know as well, I'm, I, I would like to know what you guys want to hear. And I've got some plans, I've got some ideas of what I'm going to be doing next. But um, thank you for watching, thank you for being a part of my channel and for staying with me or for joining me if you've just found me. Um, until next time, I'll see you all really soon. Take care, have a great day, evening, night and uh, lots of love to you all. Bye.